Yo, what's going on guys, I've been Vass here bringing you another review, this time of the Mezco 112 scale Catwoman. Here's a look at the box, it says Catwoman, and then I like the 112 scale and I like the purple too, like with the cat here, that's pretty cool. And then, here's her on the back, all the stuff she comes with looks pretty cool. Here are the hands that she comes with, these have her claws extended, and then she comes with two pairs of fists, and then she comes with this finger that's like a seductive pointer finger then this is for holding her whip she comes with three interchangeable heads the selena kyle head i like this one a lot it's pretty cute and then this one where she's angry and she still has a mask on not a big fan of the painted hair i think they could have done something different with that but she's like looking to the right it's pretty cool and then i have the goggles on this one but She's just pretty calm, and the goggles are really cool. Here's a look at the whip she comes with. It has these like claws, or I don't know what these are. At the end, you can see the the handle, and then the whip itself is pretty cool. It's not, you know, it doesn't have a bendy wire, but it is bendable, and I like that. It's pretty cool. And here's her stand. Looks pretty cool, but I'm not a big fan of these, um, you know, base stands or whatnot because of, of the stand it comes with. I just don't think they work very well, but the base is pretty cool. Here's Catwoman herself, and I think this figure came out really, really nice, man. Um, whenever it comes to the Batman or Batman villains from Mezco, I think they do a really good job when it comes to these type of characters, and Catwoman being no exception. I'm not a fan of DC, I've said this many times, but Batman's one of my favorite characters and superheroes, and whenever um, the Batman villains or characters come out, I'm probably gonna buy it from Mezco. And Catwoman came out really, really cool. So looking at the set scope again, I think it came out really nice. She's very beautiful. Like the eyes, the mask, all the stitching in the mask came out really cool. Like the goggles, you can see her eyes through the goggles as well, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm a little afraid that, you know, the goggles are going to get a little stretched out over time. But I'm going to be really careful about that. And I like the suit, came out pretty cool like a glossy leather kind of black and the stitching for the zipper it's pretty cool now I like the belt it's like this little gadget thing where she can pick lots or whatnot which is uh, she is a thief but I think it's pretty cool that they paid attention to detail like that then her backpack or parachute Then the claws once again. Then it has like this little padding on the bottom of the her palm. It's pretty cool. And her boots. So yeah, man, I think this figure came out really, really clean. Now the issues I do have with her come in the articulation. Uh, whenever it comes to these Mezco figures, I feel like, you know, some of the articulation is limited because of their clothing. For this figure, they just didn't, you know, add the articulation that was needed. So the head looks up, moves down, side to side, left and right, arm moves back and forth, up and down, moves up pretty far. She has no bicep swivel, she has a single jointed elbow which really bothers me, but it swivels. And the hand moves up and down, left to right. She has a really nice ab crunch which I'm a big fan of ab crunches, I think it came out really clean on this figure. Swivels, pivots, everything like that, a little waist swivel, leg moves forward, back and out, swivel the thigh. It's just a single jointed knee, which really bothers me. And um, if you guys have this figure, don't bend it any more than this. I've seen a lot of people break it right here, and I don't want that to be that case with my figure. And she has a little bit of a cast swivel, and this also bothers me. Her foot does not move up, which makes it really hard for her to stand. And it moves down barely, and she has a slight ankle pivot. So, again, my problems with this figure come in the articulation, but, you know... It's, you can still get her in some really cool poses, but, um, you know, it's just a little lackluster for, like, a acrobat. I mean, it is Catwoman. I mean, that is a pretty cool pose, but, I mean, you want more. I mean, you're spending, like, a lot of money when it comes to these Mezco figures. But, um, you know, the added detail and art added articulation would have been nice. Here she is with some Batman figures, and getting her to stand here was a little difficult, I'm not going to lie. I have her leaning forward a bit, but... Uh, she looks cool with uh, this Batman. Not gonna lie, it looks pretty cool, even though 
Um, Mezco is behind on their Sovereign Night Batman. Um, Big Bad Toy Story told me that they're a little running a little behind. And um, when that figure comes out, it's going to work really well with this Catwoman. Then here she is next to DC Superheroes Batman, which um, they work okay. I mean, this you know, the proportions are a little off on this Batman figure. But if you really wanted to, you could finagle it in this display. Catwoman came out really cool. Um, she's on Amazon for like 60 bucks right now, so she's pretty easy to find. And um, I'm going to rate her 8 besides the articulation. She's a really cool figure. All right, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you later. Peace.